My academy was basically set up and designed to, to try and give these kids as the most amount of exposure as we can and give them the opportunity to be able to transition them into um, our Suns Academy, the Gold Coast Suns Academy. We launched it in November 2015. We've had um, a group of 10 to 12 kids that we work, uh, that we work regularly with. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of really good, exciting things in place. Hopefully, yeah, we can see some of those kids really reap the benefits that, that we want them to, to hopefully achieve. And the more kids we, we expose into the national, into the Suns Academy, into those national pathways, um, I think we're doing, I think that means we're doing our job. And we've got three boys um, from last year that's, that's already transitioned into the Suns Academy, which is a massive tick, and which means, um, yeah, there's obviously talent to, um, there's talent on the Gold Coast. It's, it's, it's a new footy club, um, the second newest footy club in the AFL, and um, they're still learning um, and still trying to find their feet on all different aspects. So the, the cultural side of things is, is really important to, to be able to bring cultural awareness and education to the footy club. Um, and, and my academy and, and the relationships that, I've, that we've made with the, the local Indigenous people around the Gold Coast region um, getting them on board, um, I think we've, we're in the process of um, finalising our, our first reconciliation action plan. Um, so that I think we've submitted the first draft and that's really important for in terms of education and um, what, what we think is important for the football club to know when dealing with, when dealing with Indigenous players and, and, and staff that we, that we have up there.